find help? Easy now. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliff. The Glindorks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. Spotted. Not much gets past them. Glint Hawks. This must be Pitchcliff. Oh. 
slow and quiet does it. No quarter. What made these Clintocks attack? I better speak to whoever's in charge. Thank you. We're exhausted. It's the third flock we face today. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where'd you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor! I ordered him to stay put! I'll throw him in irons! He's dead. What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten, dirt wad of a brother! Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glinthawks? Has anything changed that might have lured the Glinthawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap, not like the Carger. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glinthawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glinthawks? If I ever get a break from him, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hawks to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bung. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Why don't I investigate why the Glinthawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel, a carge is behind all this. You find anything out about those attacks yet? Not yet. My suggestion? Keep an eye on those Karja. That device is sending out a signal. Might be what's attracting the Glintocks. Turn off! Um, what are you doing? By the sun! It won't turn off! What is it? I didn't make it. I scrounged it from a workshop. Whatever it is, ever since it's been on, these Glinthawks have been attacking! I don't know how to make it stop! <sighs> what 
Well, that should do it. Now start talking. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world, as we, in our ignorance, go about our daily- Your point? Oh, no, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glinthawks? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the Eastern Ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. That car just said the workshop was near his campsite on the Eastern Ridge.
Full already. You're down. The others haven't noticed.
Here's the scrounger's campsite, so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. Should have brought a cart. No chill, it just... Again. I'd have to ditch something. Stormbird here. If I find any and destroy them, the machine should leave. That's one problem solved. Now I'd better find and disable any lures.
done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. Whoever this Durval is, it sounds like he's made a lot of enemies. For good reason, too. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliffe. What will we do now? That attack could have destroyed the town. You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliffe and my family, I thank you.